I want to be really clear. I think the progressive movement missed a big opportunity to unite behind both Warren and Sanders in a front that would have pushed a progressive nominee into the convention. And so we always knew that, at least from my perspective, that Elizabeth Warren was a coalition candidate and was able to actually bring together many different segments of the Democratic Party, which is necessary to win. What is also necessary to win is the movement that Bernie Sanders and his campaign have built with newer voters and younger voters and more diverse voters. And those uh, factions actually needed to come together to unite against a status quo candidate. And we um, have not taken advantage of that opportunity. With that being said, I think now voters are choosing where they want to go, and they're choosing between uh, Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden. Uh, some of Elizabeth Warren's supporters have broken towards uh, Bernie Sanders, and others have uh, broken towards Joe Biden. I think the bigger conversation is, what will the progressive movement do moving forward? Uh, it's fully voters' prerogative to decide who they think is the best candidate, and that actually has more to do with uh, the, the organizing of those campaigns, I think, than it does uh, anything else. And so, again, when we see women breaking for a particular candidate, when we see African Americans breaking for a particular candidate, this is something for us to be paying attention to, uh, mostly in terms of thinking through how is our message, right, um, not only reaching these various constituencies, and the Sanders campaign has done, I think, an excellent job of trying to reach uh, folks who have been feeling disappointed affected and disengaged and left behind. And I think what this primary process has shown us is that there are many different factions that have to be united in order to secure victory. And I think our progressive movement has some real reflection to do about which factions got left behind that I think are now uh, breaking for Joe Biden. Naomi Klein. Well, I absolutely agree um, with Alicia that that there is there was a coalition that could have won a progressive coalition and and that could still win, but obviously the chances are much slimmer and and so it is painful to be that close um, and realize that we didn't do it and I mean I will say as somebody for whom you know Elizabeth Warren was my second choice. I would have, if she had won, I would have gladly worked my butt off you know, for her. Um, uh, I, it is, to me, a tremendous lost opportunity um, and a bit of a heartbreak that she ha did not come forward in the face of that kind of ruthless show of unity that we saw from the Democratic candidates who are more associated with the corporate wing of the party backing Joe Biden, we needed that from the candidates who were running on Medicare for All, that who were running on a Green New Deal, who were running, um, you know, against the criminalization of migration. We needed them to stand with us, and we still do. We still do. And I, I want to be very clear. I am not saying that Elizabeth Warren owes this to Bernie Sanders. I agree with all the people saying she doesn't owe anything to Bernie Sanders. I do believe that as an elected politician who ran on a platform of Medicare for all, of a Green New Deal, of, of you know, uh, of standing up for migrant rights and standing up against racism and, and standing up for women's rights, that she owes it to those issues because she has spent her, her, her political career attacking so much of what Joe Biden stands for. And if her critique of Bernie Sanders is that he doesn't get things done as well as she does, I would have loved for her to say, OK, now I'm going to help you get things done. And I know that our movement would have welcomed her with open arms. So, um, the, uh, you know, I really reject the idea that it is some kind of anti-feminist issue to say to Elizabeth Warren, um, we need you to stand with us, because it is not about Bernie. People in this movement are not fighting for Bernie Sanders. They're fighting for Medicare for all. They're fighting for a Green New Deal. They are fighting for the issues that they need to survive.